Hey okay, everyone, welcome to Sabado Sessions Podcast and we are back with a Talk of the Week segment with no, with none other than Indy, Mo and Annie Nelson. Oi. Hello. Up the <laughs> Scots. All right, so yeah, so today we're going to be speaking about oh, the world, the world championship in Malta. So I open the floor to you, everyone, man, who's going to go, you know what, they're going to start with ladies first, I believe, right? So sure. yeah, so Annie, who's your pick for the 47s? Let's go. 47s, it obviously has to be Turbo Tiff. She, I do, I do just think she's gonna ace it. I feel like she always does. She did really well at Sheffield, um, and I don't really expect anything less, to be honest. Yeah, no, you don't think anyone else is gonna be like, yeah, she's coming. Yeah, well, I saw today. Was it today or yesterday? I saw Heather Connor's been lifting really, really well, especially on her deadlift. So mm. obviously, that's a massive advantage for her having <laughs> the big pull there. You know what, you know, it's, it's funny you mentioned Heather, right? Because obviously there's a lot of like cross uh, nutrition coaching going on all over the world mm-hmm. and pretty much on the same team as Durance and Mo now, right? Mm-hmm. So obviously I don't know if they have better insights as to what actually is going on with Heather. So come on, lads, chime in. Um, I think Ch- Tiffany, obviously, is Tiffany. She's an absolute star. Um, it's going to be hard to catch Tiffany unless she's messing up badly. But she tends to do these big jumps on the second attempt that, realistically speaking, even if she misses her third, she's not going to lose a lot in the total. It's still going to be over 400 easily. Now, the question is Espinal, um, Jessica, because this will be her first international, which will be interesting to see how she performs. And then third will be Heather. Now, Heather looks really, really strong. I have no inside information, but on a consistent basis, I've seen her pull 200 now. That's an extra 10 kilos on a total, which puts her around 415 already. If Tiffany's having a bad day, you know, mm-hmm. if, and Heather can pull things together. It's very possible that Heather could make a surprise in here. But um, I think Tiffany is probably going to be everyone's pick for this flight. Cool. I mean, uh, anyone else uh, want to say a voice? Because I pretty much agree with those, with those picks. No, nah, I agree with that. See, for me, right, the issue, and we're seeing this now more and more, is you can't be, just just being a big puller doesn't, doesn't win you titles anymore. Like before, it used to be a case of, oh, there's a big pull out. They're just going to pull him to the lead. You need to have like all three bases covered. Um, even if she's like pulling 200 on a regular basis, it's still still quite a lot to go. Do you know what I mean? Um, mm-hmm. But I think Tiffany's just going to play it well. She's obviously very, very, very um, secure in her mind anyway. She's had loads of competitions. She pulled away on the squat keeps chipping away on the bench. It's just down to her to like pull too far away to be able to to pull. Do you know what I mean? And and then then it's game over. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to me, I think this matchup will be won on the squat, literally. It will depend. I mean, with ever to have a chance to beat Tiffany, she need to push that squat. That uh, one. 32, we need to get close to 140, 140 plus. If she can make that 140 plus, then she has a chance to pull Tiffany. But if she doesn't make that 140 plus, again, Tiffany, again, she's miles ahead. You know, yeah. even if she, again, as the lad said, even if she has a bad day of a solid 95 kilo bench press as a 47, it's just fucking ridiculous. So, yeah, to me, um, Tiff will take this. She will run away with this. And second, I'll give it to Heather. The only reason I'm doing that is because of the results I'm seeing her deadlift lately. Because again, as Mo said, 10 kilo on the deadlift is, I mean, even us as big, big um, lifters, you, we know 10 kilo is a lot. And she's been pulling that regularly now. So if she pulled that to 200, I don't see how. Is she doing um, that after Jessica. her squats and stuff? Like, I, I know I keep coming back to this yeah. uh, I, because I, everyone's I, I, hiding their training to a certain point. Like, it's because. If I just pull deadlift, I can pull a lot, but I always do it after I've squatted, after I've benched, fatigue myself a little bit, make it look as if, you know what I mean? So it depends on that as well. I think it'll be battle think, for second place. Yeah, there will be a battle for second place, especially. But the thing is that she will have the advantage to pull last. So that mm-hmm. means she can pull whatever she needs on the bar. That's why, to me, I'm yeah. going to give out a second spot and uh, Jessica um, third. Yeah. Annie, what are your picks? Is it one, two, three as nomination stands or? It's for me. It's Tiffany in first, Heather in second. Going off how she's probably going to have a huge advantage there, having the bigger pool, mm-hmm. um, and then um, yeah, basically them two in first and second. Okay. Uh. Well. I, well. I would 
you know, I would, I would keep it as nominations. No shade to like your teammate Heather Connor, uh, lads, but uh, it's just I don't know. He made it. Like, yeah, the coach better say yeah. nutritionist, bro. Yeah, do we, bro, do do we look Americans, bro? You definitely don't eat like an American. I've seen you picking that. <laughs> 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 no, nah, but like you know, it's I'm going off the basis. It's, it's gonna be a recurring theme. Uh, this podcast is just um, I mean, those that feel as though that they have more of a secret weapon are hiding their training. So I reckon Jessica Espinal. Is one of those. Um, I, I don't know. It's just a gut feeling right here, right now. But yeah, That's so I, yeah, so I keep her a second, and um, Heather. I mean, it's gonna be a fight. Don't get me wrong, but I'll still keep her as third. Mo, Indy, what are you lot saying? Is it same, same, or? I think I think it's it's a tricky one. I think you have to go with Tiffany for first, just based off her, uh, my previous accolades. But Jessica and Heather, that's a very tight battle. I mean, I've just gone through and I've seen like Heather's ball 200. She's benched 85 for a double. I can't remember how long ago that was, but that's mm-hmm. 10, almost five, 10 kilos over her best bench that she's nominated. And then squat, she's done 135. You're looking roughly at an extra 15, mm. 18 kilos on a total. You know, and Jessica's obviously has done a 90 kilo bench, but she's done 85 for a triple. Deadlifts, I don't know where it's at, and squat, I don't know where it's at, but... Mm-hmm. That that battle, honestly, I think the three of them are a lot closer than you think. Mm-hmm. And I think, like you, like Jurens has said, at, during the squats, we will know most likely what's going to happen. If Chip Tiffany can pull far ahead, then she'll be sorted. By bench, it'll be a battle between Tiffany and Jessica to see what happens. Mm-hmm. And then deadlifts, it will be a case of Heather trying to catch up. Really, yeah, speaking. Well, whoever can cover gr- the most ground. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I think I think I'll go. I'll go Tiffany. Heather and Jessica, just due to experience for um, Heather mm-hmm. and potentially, uh, it's tricky because most likely Heather, if Heather's got the big pull, she gets to pick whether she pulls for second or first. Mm-hmm. Unless Tiffany's so far ahead, most likely she might pull for first also yeah, and overstretch herself and maybe come in third. Uh, it's a hard one to go with, but I think I'll go Tiffany, Heather, Jessica. Cool. Andy, any? I'm, I'm genuinely bang on Unfortunately, with Mo, uh, I don't get to say this often, but I agree with him. <laughs> um, it's going to come down to that third pull. Does she want to push for that first and stretch herself too much, or will she be happy with second? But for me, Tiff's definitely first, and it'll be a battle for second and third between Jess and Heather coming down to the last pull. That's going to be good. Yeah, bro. All right, so 52s. Annie, kick us off, please. Okay, so um, I first of all think between Evie and um, Naomi, it's going to be really, really tight. I think that's. Bro, be... it's, it's basically round two from Sheffield all over again. Yeah, I'm really, really excited to watch that because, I mean, even their nominated totals are only six kilos apart, right? Yeah. And there's, yeah, just like so much on the line. Um, I, I don't know if I can call it there. They, they <laughs> like, I know we were saying before that, like, you know, Heather's a bigger puller, so she could have the advantage there. But both of these girls are are really good deadlifters. So yeah. I'm not sure for a first or second. You know, I have a question for you, um, Annie, because, you know, because you brought it up, like, it's, it's going to be, like, a lot of pressure for both of them. But obviously, uh, the level up from Worlds is the Sheffield um, ticket, right? And Evie's pretty much got that secured on the... Um, was it on the caveat that she does the worlds this year right so that's what she's already got to secure so it could be the question whether is she gonna be like not feeling as much pressure to win because she's already got the Sheffield ticket secured or is it gonna be like nah I, I'm I'm the one that won last time I need I need to show that I can win when it when it really when it matters is again and again does that make sense yeah I get what you mean I, I think like you know anyone that is at this level of sport would be coming into worlds wanting to win it and wanting to get the title so mm. I, I can't see why she won't be gunning for that yeah yeah exactly i mean she really has a safety net i guess so i mean why why not you know yeah. go go hard pretty much yeah, yeah. And she'll be like more because was sheffield not the first time she competed as a 52 as well <clears throat> uh yeah. well she did pri- when Long she was a junior time. she was a 52 yeah. i think in 2018 oh, yeah um i think she won the junior 52 that's so long ago though you yeah. can't you can't hey, yeah it's a yeah. Long time. yeah i think just like going off how she had such a good run out at sheffield first time as a 52 surely she's only going to be more experienced and know like how she does her cut and everything like this time around as well yeah of course of course yeah 
uh, so obviously the, we have the battle in the the one and two battle between Naomi yeah. and uh, Evie, but there's also a battle as well for the third because like any from third to I believe fifth nomination. Uh, what? Third oh, and fourth is a KG. <laughs> yeah, yeah literally one kilo, one bro. KG. And both of them are barely posting anything, which is interesting. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. Like. <laughs> P- Plune has like a crazy squat, like matching Naomi's, and then like fucking Megan Lee Smith is just like that deadlift man. Like it's not. Don't get me wrong. It's not as crazy as the top two, but it's still like it's still big. Re- yeah, it's still relatively big. Yeah, for a fifty-two kilo lifter. Like wow, I'm Team Evie, bro. I think I just, I'm I'm with Annie on this. Like she's had one competition as a fifty-two, she smashed it. She's now like well versed in terms of what she needs to do, how she moves, how she behaves as a 52. Uh, personally, I think she's going to run away with it. She's mm. she's a competitor. Do you know what I mean? She's, she's mm. like, she's, she's, an, she's an athlete. She's not coming here to be like, oh yeah, I've got my ticket. Everything's fine now. Nah, she's coming for blood. You do <laughs> like you don't, if, if you're an athlete and, and regardless if you've got a ticket or not, you come to a competition, you're like, oh, I don't know. Nah, you don't do that. Nah, yeah. Uh, yeah, what are you saying, Mo, bro? Um, it's tight, isn't it? It's um, it's most likely the the, the two stars that are going to be Evie and Naomi, most likely. Um, I it's tough. I, Naomi's a natural fifty-two. Mm-hmm. Evie's coming into the fifty-twos, you know. So in terms of like, Evie will be looking to potentially replicate what she's done at Sheffield. Yeah. I don't know how. I I doubt she'll be able to to pop a bigger total, mm. really, because everything almost seemed like a limit lift. The 160 squat, the nice seven point five bench and the two or two deadlift. Do you reckon she should if she could? To do what? Put up a bigger total than she did at Sheffield. <sighs> oh, in terms of oh, one hundred percent because she I feel like to. Naomi will Naomi she will has be to. Yeah, it's not she it's not to. a case of who whether you get a choice or not. Naomi one hundred percent wants revenge and mm. she she might have felt like she was blindsided, but most likely she knew what was gonna happen with Evie coming down. Yeah. Um, but I think this would light some fire underneath her to train yeah. really hard. And out of the two, most likely compared to the person who's cutting into the weight class or looking to maintain and the person who has more room to grow, I think mm-hmm. Naomi just has a little bit more chance to make progress. Now, it's still a six kg gap between both of them, um, but it's a tough one. Anyone mm-hmm. could go for it. But I think Evie, Evie's got that championship mindset that she's won before, that she can replicate it and potentially do the same thing again. Yeah, Jurens, what are you saying, bro? For me here, right? Um, Sheffield, Naomi missed that deadlift. If she got a final deadlift, she would have been easy. Mm-hmm. Right? So that to me tells me that, again, as you guys said, she has got a, comp- a competitive mindset. She's coming for it. And Evie, she can't afford to go and do less than what she did at Sheffield. She mm-hmm. needs to aim to do more than that. I'm talking about literally, potentially, 470 to be able to be Naomi because Naomi will come and smash that at 460. So again, one more said there, who has got more fire in them is, I can say Naomi has because she's been beaten and she's coming almost like for a revenge. But mm-hmm. saying that, again, I'll go back to what Annie and um, Indy said, well, Evie has won Sheffield and winning Sheffield is great, it's fantastic. But being a world champion to me has got more prestige than being a Sheffield winner. So, and she has no have a world championship as a 52. This is the first one. So, on that caveat, is she's coming in to win it. Just mm-hmm. imagine her being a Sheffield winner and being a world champion. That will make her literally, she can retire after this month of winning the world championship, she'll be fine because I've done it all. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Of but course, of course yeah. I know she's not going to do it. But the battle will be really intense. I mean, on this weight class, well, I went down, I looked at uh, the NAM domination. If you look at six and seven, well, they separated about 0.5 kilos. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. But this is just tell you how intense this weight class would be. But yeah. in terms of like my podium, I'll go for Naomi to win it, but by literally a small margin. Yeah. I'm talking about maybe body weight or 0.5. Literally, Ooh, and then, you know, yeah, I'll go. I'll go after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys. Body weight on zero point five. <laughs> the only reason I'm going for Naomi is again, as I said, if he if he has got her Sheffield ticket, she really does not need to push here. 
But that competitor man said winning a world championship is this the only thing she's going there for to win a world mm-hmm. championship. But I don't yeah. need to push. So if that last deadlift she doesn't get it, she wouldn't care. Do you know what I mean? So Naomi need it for her yeah. to get back to Sheffield. And my third, so basically Naomi first, second is Evie. My third, I'm gonna give it to Plune. Whoa. The reason I'm gonna give my get my third to Plune is she held the squat world record she squatted in in euros and mm-hmm. the way that 171 moved for a 52 kilo lifter i was just like my world this is fucking insane yeah. so i expect her to put more kilos on that and her bench I expect her to put more on that bench and i'm gonna give her my third yeah you, you know I'm, I'm i'm happy you mentioned about how how close the uh the the turnout will be between one and two but this is my theory this is my theory i would say Evie will win because it, there's there's no greater glory right now for her than to go for two for two in winning Sheffield and then winning Wells. Like how sick would that be for her year, 2022, 2023, sorry, 2023, right? And so that's if, you know, Evie, you know, go, coming for blood like Indy said and then winning. The only way I see Naomi winning, right, is like Duran said, by body weight because Evie's going to have to cut down Naomi's that's that's like her her you know her bread and butter weight class sort of like so she's gonna end up being lighter. So does she not cut then at all? She has. I'm pretty sure she cuts, but I'm not. I I don't believe. I don't think it's a lot. Like maybe a kilo or two. And also, evie has been sitting around the weight class in Sheffield. Most likely, she would have not gone up a lot. This is what I mean. Um, yeah. Yeah. But that that but in terms of like like how lean is Evie like? For her to cut, I reckon it's gonna be just that much bit more of a struggle. Whereas you know Naomi would seems as though she has a bit more to like cut that much more easily. So if Naomi was to win, it would be by body weight, and that and that would be like the smart call to win. I know it, it's not it's not like you know the flashiest way to win by body weight, but a win is a win at the end of the day, and this is a sport that we play. You know you, the, the numbers are there, and hopefully her handlers see that. And that her ego, like, I don't know if, if she has any, like her ego won't be like, nah, I got to win by like X amount of kilos, not by body weight sort of thing. So, um, and then for third, uh, I would give it to Megan Lee. So g- like <sighs> gun to my head, I would say it's a Kiwi sandwich. So I put Evie, Naomi, then Megan Lee Smith. And okay, that, sandwich, that sandwich would test free, bro. <laughs> no, but I'm, <laughs> you fucking pipe down, right? <laughs> but but I, I'm I'm banking on the fact that I know Plune like um squats are madness, and there's no taking that away from her. But like it, once you know the squat's been done, everyone can formulate a game plan after the fact. You know what I mean? Like, should Megan Lee need to sort of like you know reserve a bit of energy for, even though it doesn't take too much, just even that just bit that much more like be like slightly conservative for bench to give her like to pull whatever she needs to pull to get that podium place i reckon that's that's the type of like lifter she is and from like the little you know, snippets you know, i've seen her training know, do you know what's mad you guys i can see megan lee deadlift is 181 so that's a record that's probably mm-hmm. a new zealand record right yeah so how the fuck does evie just smashed it to 2 or 2.5 <laughs> that's, that's what she's no breaking the record because that's, that's no, because that's what, that's no, but that's that's fucking... what she that's what she got a, a thing. At, uh, that's what I'm saying. At Sheffield. Uh, Sheffield. That's what I'm saying. That's not breaking a record, bro. That is just destroying. It, it. <laughs> it was probably. It, it was it's probably criminal. before. It was probably before Sheffield, I believe, right? The Auckland bro. champs or something like that. Auckland Nationals. But yeah, so that's oh, that's that my like one, two, three. I believe it was Commonwealth. She did the one eighty one. I think she's actually pulled one eighty five before uh, mm. in the competition. Yeah. yeah. Mad. Megan yeah. is actually pretty decent. Okay. So, but who, who who else needs to pick the one, two, three? Is it Annie? Yeah, Annie. Oh, I need to pick. Oh, Annie. Yeah, Annie. Yeah, I kind of spoke about it briefly, and then I wasn't too sure. But I still, I'm not sure who I'm going to pick for one or two. But if I have to like <laughs> pick right now, gun to your head. Yeah. After like <laughs> after chatting about it, you know, I think Naomi might might win this because. Like I've seen her lift quite a few times and like she is like her mindset is amazing and like the way she carries herself on the platform, like she is so like tunnel visioned, right? Mm-hmm. However, so is Evie. Um so I think I'm just gonna have to guess and say Naomi's gonna be on the comeback 
and she'll win by a tiny margin and mm-hmm. then Evie in second um and then I wasn't too sure with um third but going off what Duran said about playing squat I didn't realize like how kind of undershot that was I'll go for her for third cool damn okay. all right Mo let's go bro I'm going to go a bit, um, I think first and second is very defined. It's going to be between Evie and Naomi. I think that's the battle. We're probably not going to, we're going to get any surprises there. Um, I think I'm going to go with Evie. Um, I'm a massive fan of Naomi, but I think Evie's got that. It's almost like in UFC, once you win your first fight, you know, you already have in the back of your head. I've been yeah, before, it's kind of like, you know? yo, I've got this and already. Exactly. And then as, as a competitor, much pressure. yeah, as a competitor, you're chasing now because I've lost to this person before. I'm chasing them. While the other person is just looking to see what you do. And I've got the bigger deadlift so I can game plan. Mm-hmm. Um, so first Evie, second Naomi. Third, I'm actually gonna go with a lady from um from Serbia, um, Alexandra, or goes as Seb Power. Um mm-hmm. on a nominated tool, she got 147.5. She's done 140 for six on Instagram. Oh done, snap. recently, recently posted a 150 double. Um, she's got a 97.5 bench, but she's done a hundred. And Delhi, she's got a 170 Delhi, but she's done a 170 by three. And she's and she, she's sitting like relatively like close to. No idea. It's hard to know. Um, I can't tell mm-hmm. what what she's saying and how much she cuts into the weight class. But she looks very strong. Um, like really, really strong. I'm guessing if she's a week out or two weeks out, she's probably already started cutting, mm-hmm. give or take. And any strength, like if she's going 154 double, which is way above a nominated total. That's fairly reflective of where she should be come comp day. Yeah. Right. Um, it's hard to guess, but I think for the third, I think Alexandra might just pull it out the bag and maybe make a surprise on the day. Oh man, that's a surprise. Indy, let's go, bro. Well, I'm I'm, I'm team Evie I like, yeah. I think Evie's gonna because <laughs> second comp in after having cut, she sits quite lean anyway. Um I think she'll she'll come first. I think Naomi will come second. Um I can't comment on this on on um Alexandra from Serbia. Like it just depends on how much she has to cut and stuff like that. But going off nominations and what I've seen so far, I think Plune will be in third up until the last deadlift. Uh and Megan will hit that third deadlift to pull her into third. So Megan for third. Mm. All right, all right. But it will come down to that last deadlift. That's the because she's not too far away on, on mm-hmm. the other two lifts. Yeah, on the um, sub on the subtotal. And when you're when you're close on a subtotal and you're a big puller, yeah, that, that makes that makes life difficult for everyone other than the puller. <laughs> yeah. <man. laughs> All right. Yeah. Cool. Uh, moving on to fifty sevens. Uh, again, Annie, we're gonna I'm gonna ask you to kick us off because we got our fellow Brit up there in the podium, uh, potentially like you know, for for the umpteenth time. Uh, so what are we saying? What's what's the picks? What's one, two, three yeah. for you? I mean, like. Bobby, I'm really ex- always really excited to watch, and we've also got two GB lifters in this, um, in the 57s. We have got Adajoke as well, don't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um I, I mean, unfortunately, she's still like relatively green to the whole um international, so yet to grow. And like, but obviously, probably, hopefully, in time, you know, she will get up there. Yeah, I mean, it's her first one, isn't it? And like, yeah. what, what a first international to do! It's not only is it worlds, it's like worlds in Malta, and I think it's going to be amazing for her. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I, I, you've met her, right? Yeah, you've met her at the squads, right? Yeah, just a few flat squads. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Yeah. Um I right, for my picks, I'm thinking Oh I don't wanna No pressure, no pressure, no pressure. It's the bottle, Annie, you gotta be savage. <laughs> I don't know. Can someone else go first so I can have a look? <laughs> okay, Juris, let's go. Let, let Mo go first. Mo, Mo's like probably got his notebook out. <laughs> oh, um, uh, let me go first because I did uh, my research already. So, one of the 57s will be really, really interesting in this one. So, not having joy to me, I'm still going to say this. I'm fucking pissed off. But I'm still pissed off. You know, I'm happy the fact that. I had a joke, which is my teammate, same coach. She's going to go to Malta with me. I'm so excited for her. First international. She's done amazingly well. But not seeing joy in that list. Just thinking they've taken that away from us, that battle. So that would have been exciting as well. But <clears throat> nevertheless, it would be very interesting to see um, Jacob and uh, uh, Natalie Richards, what she has 
in store. But my nomination on the, the podium, again, looking at that, you guys saw Jade posted at 5.15 today. Right? That is just... Mate, oh, speechless. Jade is on another planet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, she's yeah. walking. She's she's not winning this, but she's used to embolting this, right? She's literally running away from the, uh, with this one, right? I think Jade is my top one. My second one, I'll go for Natalie Richard. No shade on Bobby, but the, that deadlift was two hundred and twenty-one kilo. It's <laughs> just. Fucking mad for his 57. So Insane, I got him 50, um, not to Richard. And for Bobby, yes, of course, I'm gonna. Um, Bobby's my third, but let me talk about the squat record. She hold the world record squat record at 185.85.5. Uh, mm-hmm. This is probably the only time I'm gonna see that squat fallen by someone different than Bobby. Yeah, well, I'm not saying Bobby's not gonna break it, Bobby will go for it. But there will be a lifter that will come in after Bobby to match that squad world record. That will be Jay Jacob. She went for it in Sheffield and missed it. Yeah. And she's looking for that squad world record. And at the same time as well, when you look this Spanish girl, and I've been watching some of the things she's been doing, and I would not be surprised if she's the one that actually ended the day with that squad world record because yeah, I, man. I can see that um what's her name uh, I don't want to butcher her name but the the Silva D- Diaz Mariah or uh, I think I said that right I think I can see her squatting like 190 because I've been seeing okay, some of the things a, she's been that's a lot uh, no jokes Bro. I've been seeing that thing I think what she's sported like I think 177 for a double or something like that it was 175 so she's yeah, mad exactly. her squat is mad so I can see her squatting literally like oh, right. even if no one ninety, but no for one eighty five, and I can see that standing with that. But on the deadlift battle again, of course, Jed Jacob <laughs> two what two thirty five today, <laughs> you know, and that's the extension of a world record by what four kilos. Four so, kilos, yes. bro. Um, I see her getting that gold, but again, our girl at the jockey, I think, I think we're gonna walk away with deadlift medal. Whoa. Yeah, we are walking away with the medal. I don't care what other people say. I don't care what other people lift. That bronze medal is ours. I'll, I'll tell you this now. I'm I'm not 100 percent sure about this, but I reckon she'll take a crack at meddling at a squat as well. From what we saw today, I reckon she'll take a crack. Well, there's too many. Um, to be fair, there's too many one eighty. One eighty. There's too many one eighty. There's too many one eighty. It'll go to the it'll go to the lightest one eighty like <laughs> attempt in it. What do you think about it, right? Um, at the, um, well, Jay Jacob 180, uh, Natalie 175, yeah, Bobby 1775, but she's got a 185. Natalie was also and holding then, back a little bit there, too, so she might have more, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and the right. Spanish girls 180, so I don't see us looking away with the squad, uh, the medal, but deadlift, the bronze is ours. That's me there, okay, all right, uh. Annie, you got, well, well you, you you did the pass now. It's back to you. Let's go. Yeah, no, I was about to think. Um, <laughs> yeah, I obviously saw Jade's post today as well, and it's just nuts and like insane, man. Yeah, like I can't, I can't see her getting beaten, but I know that Natalie will put up something pretty mad as well. Um, mm. I mean, I think totaling anywhere near five hundred at fifty-seven is crazy. Never mind, well over it. Um, and then Bobby absolutely back her for, for third. And I think it's going to be really, really exciting to see the squat world record potentially broken three times back to back. Maybe. Yeah, man. By Bobby, right? Of course. Obviously. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Just, just to make sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's one, two, yeah, three. But she's, yeah. not, she's not going to break, she's not going to break it three times. She said three times back to no, back. No, no. Three lifted. Bobby will be one of them. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Well, it depends, oh, okay. like, I maybe think four. Exciting, like, <laughs> oh. four. Maybe four people going for it. Yeah, man. Mo, whether well, it's broken three times or not, I think there might be three attempts at it. Whoa, that's spicy. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and and, we're, and we're, this is just like what the second weight class, well, no, sorry, third weight class mm-hmm. in. And yeah. this is like so many attempts of world records. Uh, not to say that there won't be any in the previous two weight classes, but man, just like just on the squats alone. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Mo, same, bro. Um, I think everyone's message Jard is just on another planet right now. Um, mm. it's a case of how far she wants to push it. 
most likely she's not going to... I think, realistically speaking, she's just going to pull whatever she needs. She's going to push her squat, but potentially maybe just chip the world record. Actually, I don't even think she might chip it. She might just go whatever everyone else goes, because Jard needs... It depends on how she's going to look at this. Anything she does now affects her money for later. Yeah. Obviously, we've seen what's happened with Tiffany. You can go hard and think you're going to be stronger by next year, but at the end of the day, you're still messing up your bag. Um, that's what Sheffield has introduced to the game now. Um, Natalie's not going to be sat down looking at it. Bobby's not going to be sat down. The Silver's not going to be sat down waiting to see, oh, let's save it for Jad. They're all going to want to push it, but mm -hmm. Jad might just do enough that all she needs to do is to pull a deadlift to win. So she might just not sandbag this meet, but if no one's, if Natalie's not going to threaten her, mm -hmm. she's just going to do a, a decent score, a decent bench, somewhere maybe 100, maybe a 180 score again, and then deadlift whatever she needs that is not above the world record because yeah. she wants to save so her 5,000 so for next time. You reckon time. she's going to be a bit more calculated with, with terms of like what her attempts will I be? I think, yeah, she's, it, there's no point pulling it here, pulling the pulling the back warm up room, I, you know, I mean, to be, to, if you feel strong. To be honest, um, I mean, Likelihood that's likely to happen, but it could still backfire, man, because she could try and play that smart game, and then Natalie mm. Richards could just like come to something massive, cap yeah. capitalize on that, and be like, "All right, cool. She thinks I'm gonna be like this is all I got." Yeah. And then boom, deadlift comes. So I don't know. It's 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 like a risky game in itself. You know what I mean? Like it she is. could she could either yeah. risk it for later or risk it all now. Sort of. I don't mm. know, man. But uh, yeah. So your picks, mm. bro. So I think three. I'm going to go with Jad for first, Natalie for second, just because those two letters are so far ahead. And then for third position, it's uh, it's tough, but I think the silver just has that monster deadlift. Bobby has an impressive squat um, and a very impressive bench. Mm -hmm. But on the deadlift, she just falls slightly behind. And I think we've seen that 180 deadlift that she did recently. It was good, but I think she's just going through a lot right now. Mm -hmm. Maybe it might be fatigue, maybe it might be training, and then she'll peak and taper very well but i think the silver is young she's like literally on this trajectory to just blow things out of the water now if the silver gets too greedy and messes up especially on score that's very very useful kilos for bobby um mm -hmm. if the silver goes for potentially even going for that score world record she might actually mess up her podium position um and i think bobby's that is veteran enough to maybe capitalize on that mm -hmm. strength to strength the silver is stronger 100 i think right now just based off what we've seen but based off experience and the history of the silver always messing up in competitions she's not always gone nine for nine she always just tends to drop the bag or drop the the, the lead when it's most crucial you know so i think just based off experience and previous training history or competition history I'm going to go with Bobby for third. And I think she'll just do what she needs to clinch at the end. Mm. Let's see. Andy, let's go. One, picks and reasons. For me, it, it's probably going to end up how it's nominated at the moment. Um, I will caveat that with this. Yeah, De Silva's looking strong. Bobby's too experienced to let that get to her at all. Like, Bobby will go nine for nine. It's that simple. Um, which for me puts her in the advantage, um, full stop because she's got a good handling team behind her and she's experienced, she's know what she's doing, mm -hmm. she gets in her zone, she does what she needs to do. Between first and second, honestly, I think Jad will probably win. But if she comes in with the mentality of Sheffield is the primary thing, Natalie could take it. Yeah, like if this the levels at the moment are too high for people to unless you're Jesus, who's that far ahead. Like yeah. it's too high for you to come in with this mentality of I'm going to save for Sheffield. People are hungry. Yeah, of course, bro. But not everyone's got the appetite of fucking Jurins, right? Playing with their food. You leave, that food <laughs> you leave that food on the table, people are going to take it. If she comes in with the mentality of Sheffield, Sheffield, Natalie will take it. Mm -hmm. uh, but if she comes in with the mentality of I'm here to win, no one's touching her. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right, so I, you know what, my picks just just to be on a bit on the wild side, I would actually put Natalie first, just just cut just because, right? I reckon Mo, what you what we just sort of like briefly. But what spoke did about, you smoke before this meet? Before I this podcast, like, what did you smoke? No, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Look, I reckon she will be thinking Sheffield, Sheffield. I reckon so because, like, bro, you did Sheffield, you got the Sheffield bug, you you want to do it again, and that's what she's probably gonna have on the forefront of her mind. And on and on that, and honestly, just from that alone, I'm saying Natalie could come in and just like, like capitalize from from that the game plan that what that um Jad could potentially put up, right? And then for third, 
Yeah, I'll, I'll keep I'll keep Bobby there just because you know, I I do ten out of ten believe experience counts for more than just like hunger and everything else. So she's gonna go for the smart calls and everything else. But while you know young and hungry like lifters, they they tend to be a bit more not so consistent at like with a specific game plan. Like emotions may may get the best of them along the day and be like, you know what, I need to get this da -da -da -da, instead of just like. I can get this instead of I need to get this. That, yeah, that like when, when you've told someone, yo, you got 5K on the deadlift, so go easy on the squat on the bench. And they go, nah, bro. Burn the ships. Oh, <laughs> you, 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 you got to gotta have to pull that 391, bro. That's it. What? Who's pulling 391, bro? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you give me, me the thumbs for it. <laughs> No, but yeah, I've seen so... Durin's, I've seen Durin's <laughs> thumbs. You don't want them thumbs, bro. <laughs> well, even in the preview, I'm getting it. <laughs> Joey, carry on. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, yeah, I believe that's that for the 57s, right, everyone? So, uh, 63. Well, just, just to mention, though, Natalie's oh, yeah, go, go, very go. strong. Natalie's really, really That's what I'm strong. saying. Um, not to undermine her and, like, say, Jad is so amazing. But if, if Jad misses a lift, you know, a what lift or two... That's, all, that's yeah. all it takes. One that's lift, really not even two. There. One lift. You Natalie's need to make one lift. Yeah. yeah, one lift. Okay, so 63s, uh, Jurens, I'll let you take this one because you, you were so passionate about like have, missing up Joy uh, from the 50s and she's having to move to 63s. And man, she's, she's not got... even nominated top three. That's a bit wild. I mean, that's That's been... With... Do you know what? With this one, right, it's, it's really tough, right? Wow. It's really tough in terms of like... I'm not talking about the the, the top. The top, let, let me just say straight, Carola will win it, right? I was with Carola in um, um, Arnold last year when she got injured, mm -hmm. like when she went up against uh, Leah. If yeah. she did not get that injury, she would have beat Leah. Yeah. You know, no jokes. And yeah, then yeah, she yeah. was so pissed off. She was like, things I'm going to do are the Euros if I'm fit or a world next year, the world will know who I am. And he, mm -hmm. she, she was pissed off. She had little English, but you can tell she's just like, wow, she's an animal. Yeah. To me, I think she's going to walk away with this. And potentially, again, is a smash of the world record. She mm -hmm. will smash it. Because, again, she won that Sheffield invite her because she didn't get it this year. So, again, she's going to walk away with this one. I think in this one, it comes down to who's coming second mm -hmm. and who's coming third. Mm -hmm. Right? My second, I'm going to give it to Kiara. The reason I'm going to give it to Kiara is I know Megan done amazingly well last year, winning the 63, even though um, Leah didn't make way and Megan won it. You got to give, it, give that to her. She has go um, that test of being a world champion. But I just believe Kiara, I mean, she's, she's young. She's, what, 10 years younger and she has a deadlift. I think this has come down to what Indy said. When you go pull, you know, Megan might be leading on a sub tour, but on that last pull, Kiara will just load what she needs. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I'm thinking. Like, Kiara will take this. And on the third, my third, I'm going to go for Joy. For third. Wow, so you're going to totally skip right. Megan, the previous yes. world champion, bro. The reason I'm going for Joy for third here is... Joy's been squatting big in training. Mm. Wow. Yeah, if yeah, it, 175, yeah. 175. If we can get if we can we can get those elbow away from her thighs, right? <laughs> and I'm really seeing her getting a 177 squat. Do you know what I mean? That's that's massive for her. And the deadlift, are you waiting for this? Mm. I'm expecting her to pull two for it. And load and load. She will load the deadlift to get mm -hmm. to a podium. She will load that deadlift to 235, 240 to get to that podium. And then I'm going to give her my third. Whoa. But of course, deadlift gold is joy. Because if she's loading for third, she has to load something that probably has never been pulled. Uh, because in this one, one thing I'm loving about this weight class is. Joy might not get the invite for Sheffield as a 63, mm -hmm. right? But she will load that deadlift so big, anyone that, she, that is going to Sheffield will have to break their back to get any 5K on that. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah and then, yeah. You know, I, I so got, my, I Joy, got... Joy, Joy third and Megan, um, Megan fourth for me. Shit. You know, you know, before I say anything, Indy, what, what, what's, what's your take on this, bro? Bro, I think 
Gara is so, just so powerful in the weight class at the moment. Um, I don't really see anyone catching her up. If I'm mm. Also, um, Indy, before you say something, did you see that bench? I don't. I don't like to look at people's benches. Makes me sad. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking that like, oh, that bench is only forty kilo less than Indy's. Go on. Indy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to talk about my back offs today? Uh, can we go? Can you can yeah. carry on, please? Yeah. Can we carry on? Can What's we that? carry on? What would you say? No, let's carry on. Let's carry we'll on. We all have the appetite of a toddler. Right, let's carry on. <laughs> um, um, I think I think Gareth, she's just, she's just walking away with it, if I'm perfectly honest. Like, for her to not come first, she needs to miss, like, three lifts. And that ain't going to happen. She's way too experienced for that. Um and she's not going that far. Italy to Malta, she'll be eating exactly what she's eating anyway. <laughs> having a pistachio gelato before she comes first. Like, <laughs> no problem. Bro, I'm, I'm back in Joy, you know. I, I, I don't know where Joy's going to come, but she's looking so strong. And I was having this conversation with people. I'm like, listen, she just put the belt and the sleeves on um, for Sheffield, mm-hmm. right? She not got used to it, not used them before. Given the opportunity to grow into this weight class, eat what she wants. She can eat. It's 8 p.m., 9 p.m. Our time starts. She can yeah. have breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. Come in hefty. Do whatever she wants. Other people are going to be cutting. And that makes a big difference, man, for yeah. me personally. Yeah. Um, and with her deadlift looking this strong, her squat actually looking this strong as well. Bro, I'm, I'm gonna go out on a limb. I'm putting Joy second. Oh, <laughs> I'm saying I'm, I'm back. Oh, Bro, I back. God. I back my team to the end. You get me? I'm not like these fake ass people here lo- pretending to be Londoners. I'm putting Joy second. Oh, yeah, I didn't hear you. Oh, I didn't. I didn't hear you here backing. I did joking for a, a bronze medal on a deadlift. I didn't hear that. Bro, you were too busy fucking shouting at Joey and telling him to shut up. What was I supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> You fucking pipe the fuck down before I start talking about them teeth. Listen. What's <laughs> wrong <laughs> No, you don't understand. You don't even yeah. need... You don't Bro, understand. Joy, Joy's coming. I'm, I'm back in Joy to the end. Um, and I'm, I'm doing it because I can and I want to and no one gives a fuck. <laughs> so, Joy, Joy for second for me, Kiara for third. And I think it's just... It's going to be a difficult one. Joy can load whatever she wants. Mm. She, she her squats looking much better now. Her bench is still up there, and she can load what she wants, and she can eat all day long. Like really? I think this people don't understand these nine p.m. eight p.m. starts. If you're cutting mm. and having to maintain that all day long, it's gonna be difficult for people. It's draining, man. Mm-hmm. You literally starve for the whole day. Whole day in the sun, in Maltese weather, humidity high. Like she can do what she wants. She can hydrate all day long, and I think people don't. Like, she can literally just be like, look, everyone. Wait, Bro, I mean, you know, I'm not being funny, but I'd be that prick. I'd be, <laughs> I'd be there having pistachio gelato, looking at people sweating in a corner, like yo, taking the piss. But she can do what she wants. I'm back in joy, and I'm okay, probably gonna cool. come back to bite me in the ass. But it is what it is. I've said it. <laughs> All right, Mo, let's go, bro. What are you saying? Yo, um, so I'm, I'm actually gonna be controversial here. I oh, think Shara. <laughs> I think Shara has a. I think I might pick Chiara for first, which sounds insane. But the only reason why I'm saying this is because um, Garo complained about the IPF bench rule mm. a lot. Yeah. Um, and she wasn't a big fan of it. And her bench is on the limit. The last we've seen of her bench. We haven't seen her at an international meet, mm. but we haven't seen any updates on her training since Arnold's. And yeah. the bench rule has changed. Yeah. I don't know if she has any experience with a new bench rule. I don't know how she's going to perform and I do not know how that's affected her 143. Because what makes Gara so special is that 143 bench. Of course. If that 140 is now somewhere around 120 because Megan was a big bencher before. Megan was in the 140 range, you know. Megan's gone down to 125. She said that she's going to get it back up because obviously mm-hmm. she's changed the technique and she's been at competitions. Yeah. And I think she's looking maybe around 130, give or take. But Gara could lose a lot. And especially if she's if she's not competed and the judges are being a bit picky on the day, we might almost have an Agatha situation. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, your mic cut off, bro. Sorry. Whoa. Yeah, I can hear you now. Hello. Oh, I can hear you now. Sorry, can you yeah. hear me? Yeah, perfect, perfect. Oh, Go. My audio just went away for a bit. But um, Gary might be struggling on the bench. Um, mm-hmm. If Gary's adapted very easily, 
Gareth 100%. But Chiara looks strong. And yeah. her training numbers tend to correlate to whatever she does on the platform. And she's talking about scoring 200. She's talking about maybe deadlifting 225, 230, you know? Um, so if yeah. Gareth's not having a good day, Chiara can go. You say that, but have you seen her 140 she posted not too long ago? She's not that far out. Who? Um, Gareth. Gareth. Oh, no, no, no. I haven't seen the recent lift. So it's not even recent. It's from like, here, yeah, from this angle. She's not too far out. But yeah. It, it, it's too subjective, man, that bench rule, because she could have been allowed at that meet, but then it could it could be but, a totally that different was, situation. Well, that was, that, that one indie just showed that that was the Italian national. Nationals. And, and, mm. and I kid you not, guys, the Italians, when it comes to the national, they are probably the toughest so for the new judge, rules. yeah, mm. no jokes. Mm. For e- for Italy to send the team to world, <laughs> bro, it's almost like you have to meet. We have to meet all the cues, and that that's that, not too that, sure. That's one forty, and it it moves quicker than me endurance is one forty. <laughs> True. <laughs> okay, yeah. Now now that. now that now that I've seen that, I think actually yeah, I take back what I've said. That, that <laughs> so so <laughs> what are you gonna backtrack? <laughs> man, backtrack real <laughs> quick and be like, yeah. No, man's no. like, man's like, yo, listen, I'm ready to be controversial. I'll take it back. <laughs> <laughs> what? Mo, do you need I, a bit of time, bro? Because we I'll work on dating. <laughs> the more you give me, the better. Mo, why don't you ask the mo behind you what he thinks? Yeah. <laughs> I think he, he just said, fuck it, man. <laughs> you probably do better than I did. Uh, well, so who's your picks now, Mo? Do you need a bit of time? Because we, we could ask Annie instead for now. To be fair, I did say if Garrett benches, like she'll be good. But it's it's still likely Garrett could mess up and bench. I think her bench is more on the limit in comparison to Chiara. And Chiara is making progress. Um, but I think go for Garrett for first. Um, Chiara probably there if Garrett messes up. Those two are so far ahead that I mm-hmm. think um, it's going to be, I think Megan's going to be there. Uh, Megan's going to be third. Joy's making insane progress. I mean, she's squatted 175, 177.5. Um, Bench, I don't know how much it's it's only it's only what eight weeks to eat into the weight class, you know. I think Job be an amazing 63. I think in fact she'll make insane progress, especially at going into a heavier weight class this late in the career. Um, but I think Megan's probably 520, she's probably gonna be looking to maybe 520, 530, 535, 540, you know, 530, maybe more likely. Um, so I think I'll go for basically what's on the nominations. Um, first, second, and third. All right, Annie, let's go. Picks, picks, picks. So I definitely think Carola is going to run away with it, like Indy said. Um, I think something would have to go seriously wrong for her not to win it this year. Mm-hmm. Um, I think slightly differently to you guys. I I think that Megan might come second because she told. I think it was in December. She told something like five thirty seven. Um, and I mean, last year she won Worlds with 505 mm-hmm. and she's still progressing. Um, I think I think she could beat Kiara here and come mm-hmm. second. And then I also back Joy to load whatever she needs to load to get on that podium. So I'm going to go for Joy for third. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. You know, I'm going to I'm going to go wild here. Just because I want to for the going wild like Mo. Yeah, I'm gonna no, I'll go I'll go even wilder. I'll go even wilder, yeah. Because because I'm gonna put Joy for first. What the hell? <laughs> no, 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 you only do no, 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 I'm allowed to do this for at least one week. No, 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 no. Shut up, man. It's his hello. Exactly. This isn't the Jurens Kingamu and fucking Mojit Salaiman chat, is it? Let yeah. Him yeah, but you've had your piece. But, but, you but, 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 but you you rescinded your whole your whole picks, bro. Right, just because you know of what? One yeah. video. When it comes to one and five, pick me for first. No. <laughs> Anyways, unless you get that three round one, no. Um, <laughs> so Joy for first, Kiara for second, Coralagara for third. Because mm. I don't know. This is just just on my hunch alone. The same way I put, I put a hunch down for Euros when I said Christian's gonna podium and whatever, but I reckon that was so, likely. So, so, <laughs> likely. That was likely Bro, to happen. Let me let me just Joey. Let me just put. It out Wait, there, listen. Please. Let Mystic Joey speak. He's not, yeah, he's not really me, talking yet. Yeah, man. But yeah, so that's my picks because I I think Joy, whatever she's posted, I I have a relatively strong feeling that was from way back. It wasn't recent. 
Yeah, it's, just the same, it's the same thing you said that Joe is going to beat uh, uh, Jacob at Sheffield. So, what um, but anyway, let's move on. Okay, sorry, my bad. It's your show because <laughs> I'm saying like you putting uh, Carola third, Carola, she's she's the second best 63 lifter in history, yeah. And you think she's gonna come third? You, you just said it there, second best. <laughs> World game winner. Okay. She's come third. Okay. Anyways, moving this is on. His, yo, hello. This is his opinion. Come on. In it, like, yeah. I feel like whoa. But, but I just, I just, I just can't wait. Like, him. if you were coming tomorrow to when that happened, I would have choked. Yo, him, like, right, listen. Like... What if it? Okay, let's put something. <laughs> if it happens, what are you gonna do, Jordan? You gotta have because yours. You feel so strongly about this, right? If it happens, you gotta do some sort of forfeit. Yeah. If Joy wins the sixty threes, I think that's. I mean, Joy's a goat. We throw that word around, but that will be the most. That, that's more impressive than Evie's accomplishments. Well, if Sheffield. if Carola comes third, I'm covering your Paris fees. All right, cool. Woo! Come. <laughs> Yo, Joey's gonna Joey's gonna get his flight now. Get an air ride. Yeah. But <laughs> if Carola, w- Joey, if Carola wins, <laughs> you're covering mine. Damn. All right, yeah. Let's go. I'm done. I, that's how. That's how much I back Joey. That's how much I back Joey. All I'm, so all I'm Joy- hearing from this is Jordan's don't back Joy. Right, next one, next one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's go, 69s, baby. 69s. Wait, actually, oh, yeah. yeah. And have you given your picks? Because this yeah. used to be a weight class. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's your X, your X one, so, Annie, let's go. No, there's no way I can start on my own weight class. Someone else needs to start that conversation. Oh... Uh... Indy, let's go. Oh, <laughs> oh, why, is <laughs> why is it always you first? What do you mean? Um, it's been Annie all this time. I, uh, oh, I don't know, man. Bavoli, <laughs> yo, fair, I'm not being, I'm not being a, a prick here, right? But she needs to make weight. <laughs> right, right. Oh. No, you bro, no I know chance. she's gonna. She I know she's bro. This, 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 yo. If it happens once, it can happen again. If she begs, wait, which she will, she'll win. That would be she so said, She said at sixty six right now, apparently. Yeah. Yeah, but, but that's NSA Instagram sixty six hundred ten kg. I, I don't. I don't believe that's like, Instagram weight. I know, but that is well under sixty nine. Like you'd think if she was, yeah, like she would say she's, maybe she's, She's looking too strong, and I'm just hoping, right, that her confidence is up there as well. Because the only thing that I was worried about her was her confidence in her own lifting, not because of strength, but because in the back of your head, if you're always thinking injury, injury, or what's happening, you know that 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 fear of being injured can really prevent people from pushing their lifts. Mm. Like, yeah, she proved it at Sheffield; and she did really, really well. But like, it, it if it comes crops up once, it can crop up again. Um, but I don't see her losing, to be honest. I don't see her coming anywhere but first. Yeah. I don't see how. All right. Well, who's your two three then? Who's your two three? I don't know who third is, bro. But the Marta, I think the Norwegian girl. Um, yeah. Is she can't slip from second? Yeah. Because their lifts are looking really good as well. I know everyone's mm-hmm. keeping things really, really quiet and keeping things to themselves. Um, but she's looking really strong as well. All the Norwegian teams actually looking really strong, like mm-hmm. all of them. Um, I, I see her coming second. I couldn't even pick for third, bro. To be honest, I don't even know. It's so close between. I know who I'm picking for third. third who are you picking? Oh, this is yeah. Who are you picking for sixth, third? Actually? Seventh. It's just, bro. From third, bro. Onwards, the, the person I'm picking for third, third is in this podcast right now. Hey, oh, yourself. Hey, the smile. <laughs> That's why well, are you picking I'm, yourself? You're getting thanks, to the 66 and the 69. <laughs> no. Anyway, I think, oh, I think oh, both Annie and Tanya Can Tanya you let Indy talk? I know, bro. Indy you can't. carried on speaking, Mystic Meg looking mother. Listen, <laughs> I think Annie and Tasman are gonna lift more than uh Joey did this year at Nationals. <laughs> um, okay. What do you mean? I know you give me that face, but come on. I I, I don't I genuinely don't know. For third, it's so fucking tight. For third. Bro, she's in this chat right now. <laughs> no, don't just say my name because you because you're trying to be nice. It's fine. <laughs> no, we, well, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, no, 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 no. Annie, if I told you, if, sorry, if I asked you how likely is five twenty, <laughs> would you say it's like seventy percent, eighty percent? What? 
Oh, I gotta watch what I say here. Um, no, there's no wrong. There's no wrong. Yeah, this is a safe space. Yeah, this is a safe space, but there's loads of dickheads watching this safe space. Yeah. <laughs> this is really um, I, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna total that, but I wouldn't be surprised if I did if I had a good day. Jeez, third place. I got my third <laughs> pick right here. Big man thing. I ain't, right. I ain't taking it back. I back. My fellow Brits and like some. It's hard for me to back one Brit over another. Yeah. Oh shit! So, yeah, you're me, right. Fuck. For me, third place. Even the research, bro. No, <laughs> sorry. You know there what? You do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? They're so close right, together. I'm speaking, Joey. Fucking okay, sorry. honestly, sorry, always easy. having your way with people. I swear to God, for a little man, you have a big fucking voice. Head. Um, <laughs> I'm like, I like your hands and feet, but we won't speak about it today. Whoa! <laughs> All right, bro, cool. he put both of his feet in one of my crocs and they fit. No, they did it. Oh my, moving he's on. lying, bro. He's moving lying. On, moving on. He's lying. Third place for me is a Brit. I think I can leave. Which one? Pick one, bro. It's a safe space. A Brit. Pick one. I'm backing both. Pick one. <laughs> I'm backing both. Pick I love Annie I'm backing and I love both. I'm backing both. All right, cool. If you had to pick one, though, go into your head. <laughs> Put a cap in it. Get it over and done with. Uh, Mo, let's go, bro. One, two, three. Uh, me, one, two, three. I think we everyone has to go with Leah. Um, Leah's done her amazing performance at Sheffield. She was recovering for that meet from her injury, so she's obviously hopefully going to be a lot stronger going into Worlds. Um, and then she'll basically be pacing whatever um, Marta does from Norway. Um, I think she's got a bigger deadlift. She's got a bigger squat. Um, only the bench she falls behind. So whatever she loses on bench, she knows exactly what she needs to hit. Mm-hmm. Come deadlifts. Um, but first, since second is going to be those two, I think they're going to be the strongest 69s we've seen for a while. Um, and then we also have Savage Chelsea. But I think, like everyone's suspecting, I think just based on what we've seen from Annie Nelson and Tasman, just... I'm actually going to pick one of those two. I mean, Tasman has done a massive 220 kg that have moved easily, a 120 kg bench. Um, I don't know how her squat is going, but most likely she's making some progress with it, even though she was slightly injured with some doctors, I think. And then Annie's also done a 190 squat, which moved very, very easy and comfortable. Deadlift, she hasn't shown us what she hit, but I was able to calculate based on the bounce of the plates and the rolling angle. Oh, when... <laughs> oh, you, you chat the most amount of shit. Don't Why go down I... tell it. No, listen, because I know exactly how he knows because I put a picture up of the plates on my close friend's story and Pretty much everyone in this Zoom chat is in it, so don't repeat it. That, that's, that's why. That's why I, I was He's like, little, no chat. Moses snitch. <laughs> Mo couldn't calculate his own <laughs> data. You got to snitch it. first before you can be called a snitch. <laughs> but you were you were on the cusp of snitching, so <laughs> might as well, man. Mo, a a spade. Mo, I trusted you there. Don't you dare throw me under the bus here. <laughs> Mo is a snitch. Be careful. Mo is a snitch because he snitched on my <laughs> like, my lift from the. From the squads, he snitched on Durin's well, lifts from squad. Bro, yeah, on, on this very podcast, <laughs> on this I'm very podcast, everyone, so. guess what you lot think yeah, the, the top single Durin has got? <laughs> and then Mo, Mo, not even a minute later, goes, "Oh, so when Durin did the three or seven and a half, I remember this is, you posted this is why this is why I've removed Mo from my close friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna remove him as well, snitch. Oh, I, I had to post it because you snitched it, so there was no point of me hiding. Yeah, why are you man. lying, bro? Like, we've got 4K, yo, bro. Pe- people go, people go, yo, don't tell people what I lift. And Mo's like, see right here, it says, <laughs> Annie Nelson deadlift. <laughs> yo, nah, bro. Fuck off. Oh, my day. But no, nah, um, both, both of them look very, very strong. And I wouldn't be surprised to see But pick one, one though. <laughs> don't be like Indy. Pick one, bro. It depends because it's squats. Annie Nelson's going to be ahead. Um, okay. Bench, Tasman is going to come up. And Annie will yeah. lose some kilos there. Their lift Tasman has a bigger deadlift as of now. Um, but but it's, it's from what you to... saw in the private stories, from oh. what I saw in the private story, I'm <laughs> going <laughs> to... <laughs> too much, too much, too much, too much. I'm going to back out of here. Mo, just remember, don't say the number, but just remember, you didn't see how it moved either. So is okay. Um, <laughs> it was like RPE six more. <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> 
<laughs> Honestly, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna do an indie, and I'm gonna say a Brit is 100 yeah, percent on that podium. Yo, wet, one, wet, man. and I say 100 percent a Brit is gonna be on that podium. Yo, 100%. Wet. I already chose mine, so I'm gonna die with my pick. Hmm? Hit me, Juris. Let's go. Your picks, bro. Uh, my pick is that I pretty much will go with um, Leah's gonna walk away with this one. It's it's about she's probably gonna be hunting for the best lift up because I probably think. Since Tiff has been around, Durance. she hasn't got it. Durance. Huh? Durance. This is Can not you what you were me? telling me in the car, bro. Everyone's yeah, snitching on everyone now. <laughs> I don't, I don't, no. I don't, bro, I don't care what I told you in the car, but I'm looking at the numbers where Leah is pushing now. Anyway, all I'm saying okay. is a 999 Leah is going to win it. She's going to win it for 999. But if Leah misses, um, Marta will take it. Marta need Leah to miss for Marta to mm-hmm. win. But if Leah go nine nine nine, Martin's not winning it. Is it is Simple. it the case of one miss is enough to for Yeah, Marta? one miss is enough. Yeah. One miss is enough. Hundred percent. Literally. Hundred percent. One if Leah miss one squat, she's done up. All right, cool. It's, you know yeah, I mean? literally it's yeah. cause yeah. most likely Marta will squat two hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Over one miss is enough. Yeah. And Marta's been pushing big numbers, especially on that deadlift. So yeah, to me, like I'm gonna go like if, I'm gonna go in the fact that everyone go a good day, have a good day. Mm-hmm. But we're not going to go in the fact that it misses. So Leah's going to win this one for me. Marta will come second. A third, a Brit. Oh, my God. All of you, man. <laughs> Apart from the Annie. Reason, okay. The reason I'm saying... Okay. Let me, let me just say why I'm saying a Brit. So on the squat, Annie was going to lead. Because Tasman squat is back now. But Annie's yeah. still going to lead on that squat. And Annie, yeah. you need to bench. Anyway. On the, on the bench you press, bench she's going to... On a bench press, you're going to fall behind. And on the deadlift, Taz, as always, because when you look at their deadlift at the national, Tasman's third attempt looks easier than any third attempt. Mm-hmm. Right? But that was but then. Now, but now, their training is different. But when you look at the training, Tasman's been really open over her deadlift. You know, she did 200 for like a full reps or something plus, like that. Plus, oh, she's, plus she's, Annie's wearing awesome. Jordans now. That adds Yeah, and Annie's yeah, wearing Jordan in the squad. So oh, I'm Jordans. expecting Annie. Yeah, yeah Annie, Annie, with those new white Jordans that Annie <laughs> bought, I'm expecting about like for her to score like 200. What was it, Jordans? What? what was it you said to me? 210 and Malta, or you better keep your receipt for a refund. <laughs> 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 Oh, shit. it's true. I'm expecting a 200 oh and 210. You know, yeah. if Manny, Annie comes out with 200 and 210 uh, squat, and then that Brit will be Annie. Okay. But if the 210 is not there, and then they will have to fight out on the last deadlift, both of them. Cool. cool. So but that's... 100%, as Indy said, a Brit will be third. Cool. I don't care why the other one. Annie, why the there other you go. You, we've delayed it for as long as, as we can. Let's go. Your <laughs> picks, please. Annie for first. (laughs) 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 No, I'm joking. Maybe, maybe in years and years to come. Definitely not now. Um, yeah, obviously Leah. I'm kind of gutted that, like, for two reasons. I'm kind of gutted that she's moved up. Obviously, because it's in my class now. But um, also because we won't see like her versus Corolla. But anyway. Um, I think, yeah, she'll run away with first, definitely. Um, a few world records in there as well. <clears throat> and then second, I think Marta, um, if she has a good day, because I know that sometimes she uh, can have a little bit of a rough time on the platform um, mm-hmm. compared to training. So if she has a good day, definitely second. Um, however, for third, I actually had Clara from France. Um, oh, Clara is also very yeah, she's rude. Strong. She's been, she's yeah. been lifting really, really well. Um, but then I think like if Marta misses a lift or two, Clara could possibly catch her. Mm-hmm. Um, and it depends like whether Clara gets all her lifts or not. And then I think the podium's wide open if if her or Marta miss a couple of wh- lifts. Yeah, we could see a Brit on the podium and like which Brit, which Brit, which Brit. Let's go. <laughs> I can't say, but like if I said first, second, third, I would say Leah, um, Marta, Clara. But that's but, not saying I don't believe in the Brits. I just I can't I can't comment on that. Oh, come on, back yourself, uh, back back but someone. Well, like you know what? Like if I'll obviously try and have the best day I can, and training's been 
the best that ever, has ever gone. And like, I yeah, do, come on, Nelson do. Thursday, don't sleep on that. I know, so good, but um, yeah, like last prep, I just like felt so weak, and this time I don't. So I'm excited, but um, I I would take like I'll just have to see how squat and bench go, and then see whether mm. you know it's doable or not, depending on how everyone else has done. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, cool. yeah, and, and we we need we need you and Tasman need like you need to do a lot. Because yeah. we need that that well I don't know time. man from the way the way Annie's like you know cool calm and collected right now it doesn't sound like a lot a lot. Yeah but Clara's right. strong like, Clara's I'm, strong <laughs> I'm humble enough to know that like these girls if they have a good day I'm not catching them. Mm. Um but we'll just we'll just see what happens. Like I'm I'm just looking to go and have a good day and see what happens. <laughs> cool. All right. And just for, just for reference for everyone in the chat, Clara's done 532.5 on a training day. Obviously, yeah. that's not including flights or body weight cut or anything. But yeah, she is so she's also top con she's a contender. Very strong. we because we're gonna provide information on this podcast, you know. Yeah, yeah just as, not, as well as well. Not just pick the goat of the 63s as third position for no random reason, apart from the fact that you want to. So uh -huh. <laughs> This is the guy that took back whatever he said the moment he saw a video. Anyways, <laughs> uh, seventy six. This is a hot one. Uh, a lot of talk into Sheffield. A lot of talk last year, even way before Sheffield. Indy, let's go kick us off. I think we know where I'm going with this. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Uh, you first, bro. Bro, there's no way Carleen loses. Impossible. Um. I genuinely don't think, it, unless she goes four for nine or something along the lines of that. <laughs> yeah, um, she don't lose. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it's not possible in my head. Anyway, um, Jess is looking really, really strong, um, very, very strong actually, and obviously she's she's quite lean in her weight class. Anyway, I don't know how much she cuts. Does do you know? Does she cut a lot? Or does she sit quite comfortable? I know she cuts. Jessica bit a lot. Yeah, she cut yeah, a lot. She's no for God, but oh, most she's done Sheffield, so she's not yeah. going to be cutting. Yeah, she's not, not going to be cutting too much. Um, yeah. but I, 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 I think Kylie is just just going to run away with it all. She has like a reason, uh, like that. I've, I've, you know, I'm really bored of. I'm really, really fucking bored of the. Oh, she needs to prove it at the international stage. Oh, she mm. hasn't done any flights. Oh, she she needs to do this now. Nah, she came to Sheffield, bro. Oh, she's she, done all of it now. Yeah, she she's. That that question needs to be put to bed for me personally. Um, she's going to fucking run away with that. Um, I think Agatha for me, going off that like her biggest strength for me is her bench. Mm -hmm. It was hit and miss at Sheffield. Yeah. Um, whether she would should have been given that bench or not the amount of questions that have been raised around that. Like the there was only two questions raised for me with regards to refing at Sheffield. One was Jesus dropping his deadlift. Yeah. Because he let it go. Mm -hmm. And the second one was Agatha being allowed her bench when it was very, very questionable um yeah. in terms of what it needs to be. I I don't see her pulling those numbers out, to be honest. I genuinely don't. As bad as that sounds, um, I think her bench might let might bench might let her down. I think Jess will be second, um, but I think third. Third's gonna be a difficult one. Does Kimberly come in stronger? She always has been. She's like been struggling over later years, um, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, and Sophia's been kept kept her stuff really quiet, and her deadlift looks fucking massive at the moment as well. Um, third's gonna be a difficult one for me. First, second, I think is set in stone, personally. Um, third, if Agatha gets away with her benches and she can listen to commands and understand what's going on, obviously Sheffield was quite noisy. She'll come in third. Mm -hmm. If she messes her bench up, I genuinely don't see why Kimberly or Sophia can't pull into third. Yeah, you're right. You're right, man. Uh, Jurance, let's go. Picks, please. I mean, for me on this one is that I think um, for first, I'm just going to go for what Indy said. I don't see anyone beating um, Carlina. You know, I know, again, people saying Jess can pull anything she needs to win. But let's not forget, Carlina beat Jess at um, Sheffield going 6 out of 9. Yeah. And she's still, she's still total, like, what, 13, 15, 13, 15 kilo more? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's just like, 
fucking mad. And plus, I think I said this on um, today on the call. Colleen is going to Malta. She's been in Malta before. I think that's why she did her apprenticeship or something like that, or when she mm. was doing a doctorate. Yeah. So it's kind of like it's a, it, it going home for her. Do you know what I mean? So to me, she's gonna w- run away with this one again. Would I see a six hundred plus um, kilo total? Of course, I definitely see that she will smash that world record. And um, second, um, yes, what Indy said, they all come down to Agatha's bench press. Right? And I think we've been talking about this for a couple of years now when we said, I mean, opening with a world record bench press, you must be, you must be confident. Right? She always opened with a world record. And the day where like, we saw your Sheffield, right? if that day it happens again where the referees are really tough, you're fucked. Right? So unless they will be a little bit like conservative on that bench to open a little bit lighter and go up. But with the Polish team, I don't see that happening because they're really old school. But again, not. at the same time. Huh? Why? I don't see why they don't. Yeah. Being conservative, literally, we can save her here. If they are conservative, I can see her potentially battling for the second spot. Right? But however, just with that last pull, is just like, it's ridiculous. So I'll pull just for my second Third, um, I'll go for Agatha in terms of how getting two bench, right? If she get two bench, it's she's hard to be to be touched mm-hmm. in terms of like with Kimberly and Sophia there behind. It's really hard for them. But again, Sophia would just have to load that deadlift for that for that uh, third spot, and I think that's probably what's gonna happen in the motor on that last deadlift. Sophia would just load for that um um, um third spot. Um, that will happen again, as I said. If Agatha end up getting one bench, Sophia will load for third. But if Agatha get three benches, it will be probably too much for Sophia to reach. But on the deadlift uh, medal for me, I'll give Sophia my bronze on the deadlift. The only reason I'm doing that is because Jess has got the biggest pull in powerlifting, and I can probably see her in the motor pulling anything north. Um, 250, 255, 257. And Carlina, I know a lot of people have been talking about just deadlifts. People don't really talk about Carlina's deadlift. She pulled 255 as a 60, as a 76. That's monstrous. The only mm-hmm. thing Carlina has is because Jess, I'm sorry to say this, Jess is Canadian and Jess is backed by Lapadat, King of the Lift. And people forget sometimes how much Pop Carlina can pull. Mm. Right. We saw we and, saw it on the King of the Lifts, like their voting and stuff. Like it was like eighty percent Jess, and I'm sat there. I'm like, are we all dickheads? Yeah. Like, do we like people, do? Is you you looking at numbers and you're going, nah? I think five is bigger than eight. You know, is what literally what people are saying, and I'm just right. sat there confused to myself. <laughs> and I, I think in Malta, right? This coming Malta, I think to me, this is a probably. The first time that Jess won't walk away with a gold medal on a deadlift. Mm. Damn. Yeah, you know, because nuts considering be, because what's gonna happen is on that third pull, Jess will have to load that bar to something like she did against Agatha. Something so stupid. But forgetting Carlina is not Agatha. She will yeah. push that number, that sub total so high that no matter what Jess put on the bar, it's still not gonna be reachable. So, yeah. she, the, the, so the deadlift's too close, and but Carlina has a much bigger bench, much bigger squat. Like, yeah, it's yeah. It's, it's it's very hard to catch up to someone like we saw it who's with covering Tony. all bases. We saw it with Tony when you cover there, mm-hmm. yeah, when you literally cover all three lifts, you can't be like, Yeah, I'm a big puller, and then the guy just goes, Sorry, I'm a big puller too. <laughs> I'm, a big ben- I'm a big bencher. Excuse me, over here, right here. So what are you gonna do? You just look at yeah. you. There's nothing you can do. The funny thing is that people forgetting as well, Indy, that Carlino loaded the what? It was it two thirty or two thirty three squat or two thirty two and a half squat? Two thirty two, yeah. You know, people forgetting she loaded that damn thing. The only thing she missed was a depth. Yeah. One inch. She's she coming. Got it. She's coming, fucking you know? big, and she. And this is again, this is 76 it will be amazing, right? I know the girls they don't talk smack, but they will be one of the 
probably best matchup in uh, Malta. So that's all right. We got any three... hits to smack for them. Let's go. <laughs> <That's> never. <laughs> before, yeah, we, nah. before we move on, though, have you seen the Goodleaf nominations, Joey? You might as well have a look, mate, because that's the only time you're going to see 600 written down on a phone. <laughs> no. 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 Why, why, why do I only see one Mo now? <laughs> Bob, that blame one, Carleen on that. Joey, that. You, sh- you should blame Carleen on that. Why? She said it herself and we brought her up. Bro, right, listen, just... that's fine. It's Annie's turn now. Shh. Annie, Annie. Annie. Yeah. Annie, your your picks, please, Annie. Yeah, I think Carlina for first, um, Jess for second, and I think that Sophia is going to load whatever she needs to load to get on that podium, and I absolutely back her for it. Yeah, boy, up the Brits, up She's, the Brits. She like she competes really well as well, so mm. <clears throat> I I can't see why not. Jeez, uh, Mo, have you picked? Have you picked? No, no, no. Yeah, I'm just I'm just having. I mean, it it's a stacked. First and second, is, I think first, first Carlina. Um, I think Carlina's coming back to make a statement. Those yeah. judges took that score away from her. She's 100%. If they gave her the chance, you'd probably do a double on the platform and just say, I can do it. <laughs> See? Right? Um, but for second position, um, I, it's going to be tight. I think it's going to be between Jessica and Agatha. Um, I don't think Agatha's too far behind. I think Agatha's going to nail what she needs to nail for her bench technique mm-hmm. and deadlift a lot more than 215. Um, so I think it's going to be between those one, two again for who's going to come second and third. But then everyone else is not too far away. You know, yeah. Kimberly Walford is there. Sophie is there. Vilma Olsen is also there. I mean, these lifters, they're only about a good deadlift session away. Mm-hmm. If Agatha or... Jessica just having a bad day because multi is going to be pop. You know what? You know what? You know. What? I got a question for all of you. Do you mm-hmm. reckon? Do you reckon because of what happened last year that it could be the case where it could be the flip of what happened to, between Agatha and Jess, whereby I'm not saying they're going to win, but in terms mm. of like the placings that Agatha might clinch, you know, a total just above Jess because what were they like last year? Like well, it's like one kilo off. Right? No, they 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 total the exact same. But, oh yeah, sorry. Um, body weight, but body yeah. weight, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, and also, I mean, it, it comes down to what Jurin said. Okay, so genuinely, if she on her first bench, right, can just all she needs to do, like we say, we we we've said this from day one in powerlifting. All I've ever heard is the first lift is for the judges. Mm-hmm. You show them that this is fucking beyond reasonable doubt. It's in, it's strong, it's fucking fast. They're going to stop looking for that shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If she just drops that bench, smokes it, second one, do a jump, smoke it, third, she might, she'll might she be able to cut it and then she can do whatever the hell she wants. Mm-hmm. But if she comes in with that Sheffield of opening up world record, uh, is it in, is it not, what's going to happen? She can't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's me. But that, but my 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 question stands. Do you think she has what it takes that could potentially flip whatever happened last year? Jurist, yes or no? Oh, she, yeah, yeah, she does. She does okay. because that two fifteen deadlift we've seen here, Agatha dead is about two forty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, do you know what I mean? People forget it in that. So if she, as Indy said, if she go a free bench with two forty, she can flip that easily. Any? Do you reckon it's do you reckon it's doable? I think it's doable. Yeah, but. I think Jess is going to come out on top this time. Just a feeling. Uh, on top again, okay, Mo. Yeah. Um, I think I think it's a case of Agatha actually chasing Jess rather than Jess chasing like Agatha. Jess mm. is probably in a position where she's actually looking for Carlina to somehow go four for nine. I think rather than <clears throat> actually worrying about what Agatha. <laughs> what? Needs to Did you just say four for nine? That's the only way, bro. You're <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, at this point, they're just going to name this the Carlina podcast, you know? <laughs> but she proved it with six, six for nine and one. So she has to go four for nine. Mm. Uh, bro, she wins at four for nine at Worlds. That's wild. <laughs> Wow. Bro, you might as well give her best lifter, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm moving on. I'm going to, I don't know, darts or something. <laughs> Imagine a world champ four for nine. It's never going to happen. She's going to she's gonna go nine for nine. I back that. But like, if someone can be a world champ at four for nine. Yeah, that's insane. Jesus? <laughs> nah, not even Taylor. Jesus, nah. Taylor, if he was at full steam. 
Nah, I don't think so. Even then, four for nah. nine, too much to lose. Too way, way too many kilos, man. Two squats for Jesus. So let's say, well, let's not, let's not. No, nah, we'll, 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 we'll bring that. We'll bring that. <laughs> yeah. We'll bring we'll that for on the men's on the men's flips. But uh, but you know what, my picks, man, I t it's tough, man. The reason why I asked you guys whether like it, Agatha can flip the whole chest and thing placement is that, man, Agatha could come in really strong here. So. I'm not going to change how it is in nominations, but I would not be shocked one bit if somehow Agatha came second, if that makes sense. Like, because mm. it's it's, oh, it's possible. And man, they could, I mean, two and three could, like, Jess and Agatha could, like, have a blunder and a Brit might take a, a, the podium. So it's close, man. Like, But definitely I back Carlina. Uh, I know she's got, I see that 600 on her nominations. Tasty. Um, but yeah, so yeah, so uh, 76 is done. 84s, please. Uh, Mo, kick us off, please. And uh, I haven't really asked you to kick us off yet. 84s, I'm gonna do a joy right here. I'm gonna say, um, a Brit is gonna win it, um, Woo! because Amanda Lawrence obviously Woo! is gonna go zero for nine. Woo! And I want to um... talk to the Mo behind you, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think you said Amanda is... Lawrence is gonna bomb out. <laughs> Mo, oh, Mo's man. like, Mo's like, uh, but moving back, Annie Nelson deadlifted right here. <laughs> <laughs> Niche. <laughs> um, I, I think everyone knows this an Amanda show. It, it depends. I think Amanda is in this flow now where I think last world, she had this little game plan. She was playing where she's like, I'm not going to push your worlds. I'm just going to win. And I'm going to save you for Sheffield. And I think she's reached the point where she's kind of just gone, fuck it. Like... Fuck Sheffield, fuck everything. I just want to win and I want to win strong. Mm -hmm. So I think she's just going to go bold, like just guns swinging and just really push. Um, how far she's going to push, I don't know, especially with that massive 268 deadlift. Mm -hmm. Honestly, she might load. To, I don't know what she's going to do. You know, it's Amanda. She can push wherever she wants to push. I, I, I think it's unlikely that she's going to trample 270 or something insane like that. But GL points wise, I know she's talked a lot about it. She wants to be the best female lifter mm -hmm. and she's going to be loading whatever she needs to get best female lifter at IP Awards, I think. And she um, and she has she has the advantage too because whatever whatever the lighter weight class is ha put up, she's just she yeah. just knows what goal to achieve. Exactly. She gets to see at the end. Um, in second place, funny enough, Amanda coaches the person in second place. Um, so that's going to be interesting. So I think it's going to be first place Amanda, second place Amanda lifter. Um, and then Do you reckon it's a case of as long as I win, <laughs> you can take second? Be like, I don't know. <laughs> She's going to probably get gold and everything. So Amanda is just Amanda, you know? Um, mm -hmm. And then third, we have a battle between Zion and Timmy Topper. That's going to be very, very interesting to see. Um, Who's a bit? One for both of them. Um, I'm going to pull an ND and say a Brit is going to come on the podium for third. Um, but Zayana has that massive deadlift. And so, Indy, um, look at Temi... this. Look at this. <laughs> look what you've done. Tell me a lot I'm glad of I did this right, right now. because I, I back all Brits other than oh. the 66s. Well, we got after Pudin, so. Who? After. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Um... <laughs> <laughs> the hatred. See the hate right What, here. bro, bro? Listen. Like, Listen, on display. Oh, on display. Okay, cool. I didn't. I didn't see GB next to his name on the nominations. But no, yeah. I back Joey for twenty. Matter. I back Joey for twenty thirty two. M three. No, no, no. Go, go, carry on, carry on. Yeah, you back a Brit apparently. Yeah, for third. But yeah, that battle is going to be insane. I think Zayna could. What I think Zayna is going to secure second. Um, I don't. Unless Amanda's, if Amanda's going to chill on deadlift, Zayna might actually pull for gold on deadlifts. Um, mm. She she is a big puller, like she's very very strong. It just depends on what her limit is on the day. Yeah. Okay, cool. Juris, let's go. Oh, for me, like I'm gonna go south in this one. Um, I think I'm gonna pull for my first. I will go for Mbolo Zongo Monique Vanessa from Cameroon. Okay. Uh, the only reason like, I know she's nominated. The what's, what's, this, what's, sorry, what's hello, the name again? Hello, what's the name again? Listen, this isn't the warm up room. <laughs> this is the bottle. We need to talk about facts and figures here. 
mistake. Oh, I'm, just, I'm just backing my African sister. Why are you laughing, you? Joey? Yo, if someone wants to send for me, send for me. Let's have it on. I'll meme the fucking shit. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. So, um, jokes aside, right, on this one, I think, again, Amanda Lawrence. You didn't Lawrence even say her name just... right. What? You didn't even say her name right, your Cameroonian what? sister. Mbolo Zogo, Monique Vanessa. Mbolo Zogo? Mbolo. Oh, Bolo. Okay, cool. Yeah, well, anyway, um, <laughs> I think I think um, Amanda Lawrence is just going to walk away with this one. I think we were talking about this today while driving home. It's just like, she's so far ahead, man. I mean, 268.5 as a deadlifter. It's just, well, it, she can say, look, savage. I'm going to, ch- you know, savage. she might say, I'm going to chill today. I'm just going to pull 260. Still, you guys don't want to catch, catch bro, out, catch out. You so, know what? She can win four for nine, bro. <laughs> yes, so she's just too far ahead. I mean, what? What's the gap? The gap is sixty-five kilos. Bro, We're talking about gaps. Are we talking about gaps from here? Oh, no. <laughs> We're talking about gaps, boys. Can I, I, no, no. Okay. I, no listen, listen. Put... No, Annie, you need to hear this, bro. I mean, basically, we we eating earlier. I see. But Indy we're collect... wasting time. No, I don't care. I need, everyone needs to hear this. Yeah, the, Indy starts collecting the glasses and spaces them out. <laughs> then he goes. This out of Jurors flosses his teeth. No. <laughs> what the anyway, hell, man? anyway, oh, anyway. Shit. Um, the gap is not uh, the gap is not um as uh, big as my teeth. So Stop still gap, please, but, but man. Still, Amanda. <laughs> just gonna say back. My gap's not as big as my teeth. <laughs> yes, the Amanda Lawrence is gonna walk away with this one, and I put Christina mm. second. Uh, the reason for that, I watched her at the Euros. She was really amazing. Wow, she was really amazing at the Euros. Her, all her lifts at the Euros, they looked so clean. You know, she was really great. And put her second. Third, I'm going to put a Brit. So I know people wanted to know what Brit here. So this championship, the way I've seen Timmy lifting, she's healthy. She's having fun. I really put her here for third. Damn, you know, because so you're actually that's side. that's uh, it's not even about side. That her bench is ridiculous. You know what I mean? So all all it will take for Temi is to hold her nerves on that squat. If she come out with three squats, right? Literally, if she come out with three squats, she's getting she's getting third spot. Mm. You know, she's getting the third. But again, at the same time, Ziana's deadlift. She's probably what well, jokes aside. She's the second best puller as 83 in the world. Mm. Uh, and then we can't take that away from A4, uh, sorry. And when you think about that, she's only been lifting what for how many how many years? Two like, and what, and three years or so. Like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's that's insane. But I think Indy said this earlier. When you have got that big pull, you can just load whatever you need. So Ziana will have to load to bump Temi from that third. Mm. Annie, so, yeah, let's there. go. Pick, pick, pick. Yeah, I mean, Amanda on first, of course. Like, she could miss quite a few lifts and still win. Um, four for nine? Yeah, four for nine. You know, maybe even three for nine. Who knows? Jeez, <laughs> openers only. Oh, my God. Can you imagine? Let, let, me, let me actually do the math for her. Three for no, nine. but Come what if she did it? What if she got openers only and then she messages her lifter who's in second being like, if you hit more than this, you might be having 15 by 15 on the next block. <laughs> Oh my days. So how many reps it takes Mo to get his fucking squat stand straight? No, <laughs> uh, you know, well, Annie was not wrong. If she actually if if Amanda Lawrence go three out nine, she can actually win. Five ninety seven and a half. A world championship. How wild is <laughs> that's that? That's mad. That's 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 not even wild, that's just disrespectful. It really is. I mean it's... I mean her competitor's better pray she doesn't do that. Because that's embarrassing, man. Also, you know, to the World Championship. But would you, okay, I'll open this up to the forum. Sorry, Annie. If you could do that, would you do that just to take the piss Hell on yeah. one occasion? Hell yeah. Hell Annie, yeah, would you, no. uh, Annie, be honest. Oh, if I could just if make you, win. If you, if you could, could go three win for nine and champs. win a world title. Not even three for nine, just three yeah. for three because open is only. You do yeah, it. I'm not, gonna that. I'm not going to lie, that's a dick yeah. move. No, yeah, it's, it's shame, more to make. Shame on you. What? Well, you, you you do your free lift and then you go on a holiday. Simple. That's mad, bro. So you just 
Just oh, you mean like not even attempt your second and third? No, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no. Oh, no, no. Do... I would always attempt all of them. Oh, see, there you go. Jury, I thought you jury. meant like jury. if you if you could just do your openers and then fail. No, your... I don't care. It's, no, not it's, a, it's, a, it's a shame that Joey can't do his openers to get five nine seven though, is it? <laughs> oh shit! That's Joey's best, isn't it? A five nine seven. Oh no. Oh, Juris, is that why you you set Mo up like that, yeah? This is man down, Did man it? down. Well, your I table's gonna to be God. super spicy now, boy. <laughs> Bro, I, I swear to God, I did not even think about that until I did the maths. Okay. Okay. How are you letting Amanda Lawrence beat you on her openers? Beat me? You just matched me. Just... Yeah, that's much better. <laughs> I'd say, like, well done, bro. You redeemed yourself. <laughs> wait, wait, the maths. What the? Eighty-four thing? plus. <laughs> yeah, A4 plus, let's go. A4 plus. <laughs> oh, my days. Sorry, now nah, let Andy oh, carry on. We, we, we interrupt. But Andy, Andy didn't pick, bro. What are you talking about? No, nah, Annie hasn't picked yet. She only done Amanda for first, and then you dickhead started talking over her. Yeah, it was Mo, isn't it? <laughs> no, no, Indy, you're the one that threw the, the question to, the, to, to everybody. That was anyway, the end. Shut on. up. Go on, Annie. <laughs> no, yeah, Amanda on first. Um, her lifter, Kristen, in second. And... I can't possibly pick a Brit for third. However, I know that I've not really seen much of Ziana's training, but I've seen bits of Temi's. And like Juren said, she is having fun. She's healthy and she's lifting so well. So I don't know. I think the two of them are going to push them, push each other like massively until the end. Mm. So you're, you're just going to say a Brit will get a third. Brit, yeah. But, yeah, okay, cool. You know what? Just, just because to even things out, Obviously, Amanda first, Kristen for second, but I'll put Ziana for third, just for this one one to one here. You know, someone already chose Tem Temi, so I'll choose. I'll choose yeah, I'm Ziana. gonna send Temi this podcast when he finished. Go send on. send it, bro. I'll send it myself. Quick group chatting. Don't forget about. I won't forget. Indy. Yeah. Um, there's no way Amanda loses, right? That's just it's not. Yeah, we clarified that on her. Chris, on her Chris, 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 Kristen for second. Um. For me, it's going to come down to the last pull. I think Temi will be in front up until the last pull, um, and it'll be Ziana's pull for the win. Personally, um, I for haven't the, seen for the, for the podium for, for third. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen enough of Ziana's training. Everyone's keeping it really, really quiet. Um, from what I've seen of uh, Temi, she's looking really, really fucking strong. Really, really strong. Um, it's going to come down to that third pull. I genuinely. Couldn't pick between them. I think you just have to flip a coin. It'll come down to that, I think. Um, mm. Who can hold their nerve? Uh, if they're all like, if last pull, they're all eight for nine coming mm. up to the last pull. Um, I think it it gives Yana an edge. Yeah. Um, being, being the bigger puller. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But giving the edge also means having a lot more riding on that last pull, which of makes course, things yeah. a lot more difficult. So last pull for third for me. But definitely a GB um, lifter on the podium. Cool. So that's everyone's picks. Cool. A4 plus. Uh, you know what? Jurens, kick us off, bro. Mate, Jurens have been kicking off a lot of time, you know. All right, on this one here, like, again, when you look at it, Bonica, man, 280 squat in Sheffield. <laughs> bro, man, man. all her attempts were absolutely you know, just like I'm just, a smoke show. I'm, yeah, there were some like, Some racks. Like, the only reason I'm laughing because I'm a pretty decent squatter myself and I know how 2A you feel when you have 2A on your back. No matter how big squat you are, but 2A is 2A. And this but it, woman... It depends. it depends, doesn't it? It depends. Is she going to go like proper regular squat jumps or is she going to be an absolute moron like my friend Jurens King Gammon, right? And go from fucking 210 to 280 like you some sort of fucking weirdo? It's fine. If you can do it, you can do it. Why not? Yeah, anyway, it have you heard this? Have you seen what he did today? I'm going to snitch on you here because I think you deserve being snitched. No, to, no, I went to hella, hella snitches. Bro, no, I went to 25. 225. Oh, much to better. 285. To, 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 much, to 280. I always do that. That's, that's what I do at home anyway. Do you, have you always anyway. done that? Yeah, we always done that. Anyway, never mind. Um, that's why probably I'm one of the strong, um, strongest squad in the world. Anyway, um, move on. You see, out here, I'm just seeing... <laughs> what the hell is wrong, Indy? Where, where's your face? Uh, just carry on, bro. Just carry uh, on. 
I think I think um 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 Bonica Brown will walk away with this one. So I know at the Euros, Sonita came to me. She was she almost like um spared me at the Euros because I didn't pick her to win. But she's gonna cause some waves here because I've seen her squat has been moving madly. And I wouldn't be surprised if she get close to that 285, 280 or I think she scored 285, was it? Yeah. In training. Yeah, it was, it was. I think she hit something like 285. So yeah, this is gonna be a mad um session. But again, Bonica, because of the experience, she's done it before so many, many, many times. I can see her just like, yeah, aging um Sonita on that. On that one there, but again at the same time for my second, I'm gonna put Sonny to second. The only reason I want to put Sonny to second is that I think she's been having some issues with her bench lately. Mm. So hopefully that will be fixed be- um, um, before Malta. But if that wasn't the case, I would probably would have put Sonny as my first. But again, experience here for me, Bonica first, um, Sonny to second, and my third. Actually, yeah, it's hard. You know, Emily Mejia for she can do it with a two one six five bench maybe, but the Canadian is just the gap is just too big. So yeah, I will give um the Canadian uh Brittany my um third. Okay, right. well Mo, let's hear it. Well, Andy uh, snacks away. Well, I'm eating, so I'll do Mo first. Yeah, that's what I said, Mo. Um. <clears throat> It's a tough one. I think uh, Bonica is strong, but this is probably the first championships that Bonita's had any competition, mm. realistically speaking. Bonita's always just cruised into training, and you can kind of tell she's she's taking training very seriously now. Like she she's pushing as hard as she can. Um, that squat two hundred and eighty was ridiculously easy at Sheffield, but. Sonita is not too far behind and Sonita is the bigger deadlifter and bench wise they're not too in fact Sonita is ahead on training but obviously she's been dealing with some shoulder, shoulder injuries I don't think she's going to go below 140 mm-hmm. so that puts Sonita somewhere around 690 mm-hmm. you know that's a massive total that's yeah. that's very very big um I'm going to I'm going to pick Sonita for first I'm going to go against Bonica. Yeah, I'm going to pick Sonita for first. I'm go, going to go with Bonica for second. And for third, I'm going to go with... Um, I'm going to go with Brittany, the Canadian. Are you basing that... Are you basing that... Sorry, the, the feel first, your one and two, are you basing that with the squats? Um, I'm basing it off the, the, the fact that the gap on squats will be not so big and on bench is not so big either. That by the time it comes to Delif, Sonita knows exactly what she needs to pull to win. Um, Joey, can I ask, can I change something? Or oh, we can't change? No, if you want, I mean, if Mo can, in the middle of his picks, well, okay. of course you I just... didn't change anything. I literally oh, said, I just, okay. like, most likely will I, just okay. thought, I, I just thought about something, right? Um, I know I spoke about the experience of Bonita, but... Bonica or Sonita, Sonita, bro? Uh, experience of Bonica. But I think Sonita was going to win this one. The only reason I'm saying that is I watched the 285 again that she did. I'm thinking, like, I thought you just didn't want to get that. speared at Malta or something. No, she, I think when you watch the speed of a 285 she did in training, she can score 290, bro. <laughs> Literally. So she, yeah. she she doesn't even need to score anything. She just needs to not be literally five kilos behind. Yeah. Bonica is more than enough. Yeah. I, I She's literally my, just going to be pacing. That's it. I switched my one, two. So Sonita first. Bonica second. Ooh. Annie, let's hear it. I also think Sunita is probably going to win this. Um, off, yeah, just going hello, off hello. how massive that squat was and how easy it was as well. It's actually mental. And she does have the slightly bigger deadlift as well. So I think if she can go three for three on squat, then I'm going to put her as my first choice. Um Bonica as my second as well. However, they are going to be extremely tight because like we all saw at Sheffield, like that was so sub-max for her. So God knows what she's actually got in the tank, especially when, you know, there's a world title on the line. Yeah, man. Um, it's wild. Yeah. Bonica pulls Suvo, man. That's I know. Pretty, that's mad rare for like that, you know, her specific weight loss, but mobility is 10-10, so God give it to her. 
Yeah, I was surprised, like, um, because I hadn't really watched much of her lifting before, and then Sheffield, I was like, oh my god, I forgot that she pulls sumo. Mm. Crazy, but yeah, uh, Eddie, let's hear it. I'll, I'll just finish your snack. Snack? I'm having a full meal. I've still got half of it to go. Um, <laughs> you're not speaking to Jordan there. I'm a one to any right. I gotta eat. Um, I, don't, I I think Sunita might win. You know, Sunita. Bro, everyone say this, yeah. It's wild, simply, man. That two eight five was mad. The, this is the issue. Her squats looking really good. None of them need to cut to a certain weight. None of them need to make weight. They can do whatever the hell they want throughout the day. So that isn't irrelevant. They're all but... eating pistachio gelato before weighing in. <laughs> Literally. Um, obviously, Bonique is a very experienced lifter, so the travel's not going to make a difference. But travelling to Malta from Belgium is less of an issue for people as well. Like, mm-hmm. it's... Do you know what I mean? Like, it, it, little things like that just do tend to make the difference. Um... And when you're that close anyway, and you have a, a much bigger pull, she just needs to keep up. Like, it's not, it's easier said than done, obviously, but her squat's looking really good. Her bench is what it is. And then keep up, keep up, and then just pull for the win. But I genuinely think Sunita will come first. Bonica will probably come second. Um, and then Brittany from Canada was probably third. Um, but you just, you just, with the heavier weights, the issue is, they make bigger jumps, mm. which means bigger mistakes on lost lifts. Yeah. Um, what bigger I like cost. to do, bigger cost. I like to make a bigger jump from first to second and then a smaller one from second to third. A lot mm. of people like doing that, but you just don't know how people are going to approach it. So mm. that's, that's my picks. Noting the fact that it takes one missed lift in a weight class like this to have someone just take it. Yeah, of course. So if, if them two both, you know, for me, if they start fighting with each other in terms of this is my squat battle, this is my bench battle, this is my deadlift battle, who's to say that Brittany can't just be there quietly in the background making a, a sub total and then do what she needs to do for the win? Yeah, it'd be you know nuts, I mean? man. But it's, it's too it's too close, but Sunita, Bonica, Brittany, for me, as it stands. Damn. Well, uh, I believe that's everyone's uh, take on the women's um, uh, world for Malta this year. So yeah, uh, for everyone listening, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, share, like, subscribe, of course. Um, you know, happy to have Annie Nelson on board with Indy and Mo uh, on the Sabado Sessions podcast. But yeah, um, uh, we'll catch you on the next one for the men's. Um, and I just remembered, actually, I think Annie pulled uh, two. No! Uh, <laughs> the, the... <laughs>